Hello friends, welcome to Sarkai Nokri dot Asia. This is Preeti, and today we're going to learn a very important chapter, that is percentage, from which you will find two or three questions in every exams like SSC, Banking, Clerical, Banking, POS, LDC, IBPS, etc. Okay, so before starting this chapter, I would like to tell you one thing that we are coming up with some new topics like Vedic Maths, GK, Current Affairs, Computer Knowledge. marketing knowledge english and so on so if you want all the updates if you want all the videos please subscribe to our channel so that we can provide you more videos okay anyways so let's start the chapter oh uh, one more thing i would like to tell you that uh, uh, some of my subscriber asked me that why i teach slow okay so the reason is you i teach slow because i want you to learn quickly okay if you can understand my concept quickly it doesn't mean all can do so please have patience okay anyways let's start with the chapter is always calculator on 100 okay so let's start with the first question Rohit spends forty percent of his salary on food, twenty percent on house rent, ten percent on entertainment, ten percent on conveyance. If his saving at the end of the month is rupees fifteen hundred, then calculate his then calculate his monthly salary. Okay. So Rohit spends forty percent on food. Plus twenty percent on house rent, ten percent on entertainment, and ten percent on conveyance. It means he spends eighty percent of his salary every month. Okay, so let let his monthly salary. Is rupees x okay, and he spends eighty percent of his salary, and he is left with at the end of the month he is left with rupees fifteen hundred, and according to our solution, he spends eighty percent, and he is left with twenty percent of his total monthly salary. That is fifteen hundred. So from here we can get the value of x. We can have the value of x. That will be his monthly salary, and this is what we want. So twenty percent of his total salary, twenty percent of x is equal to fifteen hundred. This is five. So we are left with s. X by five is equal to fifteen hundred. So from here we can have the value of x that will be fifteen hundred into five. That is this is the answer. Okay. So start second question. Second question is A scored thirty percent marks and failed by fifteen marks. B scored forty percent marks and obtained thirty-five marks extra than those required to pass. The passed percentage is okay. A scored thirty percent marks and failed by fifteen marks. B scored forty percent marks and obtained. Thirty-five marks extra than those required to pass. So, what is the trick to solve this type of question? We always subtract from the from this side, and we always add from this side. 
If we subtract from this side, we get 10%. And if we add this side, we get 50. Okay. Percentage is always calculated on 100. So, see. Let uh, maximum marks or total marks is equal to x. Okay. So, 10% of total marks is equal to 50. 10% of total marks is equal to 50. From here, we can get the value of x. That is 500. It means 500, this is maximum marks or total marks. So we, we get total marks, okay, but we need to get the past percentage. It means, and the A is filled by 30%. It, so now, second step is 30% of total marks is 150. It means A got 150 marks and he was failed by 15 marks. It means if we add this 15 marks in 150, we get the pass number. 165 is the number which was required to pass. Okay, this was the passing marks. And now at the last stage, we need pass percentage. So what is the pass percentage? Out of total, out of 500, Passing marks was 165 and the percentage is always calculated on 100. So the percentage is 33. So this is the answer. If you have any query, you can comment. And if you like the video, please like it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.